this case has been known to make slip joint knives in many patterns. I think they did a good job with this small lock back knife. We will take a closer look at this knife. You can let me know if you agree. Stay tuned. Hello knife lovers. Welcome to Knife Delights, a place where friends can gather and discuss all things knives. Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm really excited to be able to present this delightful case lockback knife. Now, this knife features the ultraviolet smooth bone covers with the ictus inlay. The blade is a drop point, and it comes in cases uh, 420HC, true sharp surgical steel, and it has about a one and three quarter inch cutting edge. The overall length of the knife is 3 inches, and it weighs, well, it weighs just over uh, 2 ounces. The bolsters are nickel silver, and it does have brass liners. And there is just a slight amount of gapping there, but nothing real significant. Now, this is the second knife that I've bought with these uh, smooth bone ultraviolet covers. And these came out in 2015, and they're ICTA series from 2015. And I just recently did a review on this one, the Medium Texas Jack. And that's what that one looked like. And I have to tell you, I just love these smooth bone handles, or covers. I think that they did an excellent job. Uh, dyeing them and they just really stand out and there's those three brass pins and I am just oh I'm overwhelmed by these knives they are just gorgeous this would make a very good uh, going to church knife getting all dressed up in your fancy duds going to church and looking for a little knife to slip into your suit pocket this would this would be the knife right here now, I think uh, Patty's Potato Peelers put out an uh, open tag recently on comparison knives and what knives does the channel use for comparison with other knives. I didn't get responded to that open tag, but I will say that my Buck 112 is a pretty good comparison knife, and it just kind of gives you an idea of the size here. And another comparison with a buck knife would be this buck knight which is the model 505 and you can see this comparative size there another thing you can see is buck's influence the buck 110 when it came out with their lockback design has influenced knife making uh, well since the 1960s the mid 60s So anyway, this little lock back here, this represents the 15th case pattern that I have with the ictus symbol, the ictus inlay. If you'd like to see all the other patterns that I have with the ictus, why, I'll refer you to my playlist. I have a case knife playlist, and you can see them all there. Now, I know this is kind of a short video, but there's not a whole lot to talk about, but I did want to show it to you. It is just a beautiful knife. So until next time, have a very delightful day.